well, I'd like to show you a quick setup. Um, to do that, you need, there's on the back of the um, the pro rate there is a small compartment where you can open it. By doing so, it's next to the FireWire 400 port. There's two buttons. Uh, the first one on top, a black one, which is called RAID confirmation button, and on the bottom, uh, it's a hard drive selection button. So basically, how this works is that the hard drive selection button. There's two small switches. Uh, let me see if I can zoom it in. Zoom in and show you. Two little switches. It's one and two, and on on top, one and two on the bottom. So basically, how um, what you have to do is, so I have two hard drives in here, one, uh, two, one point five terabytes of Western Digital hard drive. So if you have two hard drives, you you pull both um, both switches up to the on to the on side, and if you have three hard drives, you put one up two down and if you have four hard drives you put one down two up so it all depends on how many hard drives you have if you have two both up if you have three one up two down if you have four one down two up so that's how the hard drive selection works. Now let's see how. Let me show you how to set up the RAID itself. Well, I'm going to show you a quick installation guide. Um, basically, to start off, uh, you open the safety cover here cover do come out so if you just pull it out it just comes out it's normal and there is a, a, a metal frame inside if you uh, pull the these two levers down this will also come out like so this side I already have installed two um two hard drives in here uh, you could pull that out by pressing down the um, hard drive handle and it will come out. To install the hard drive handle, uh, you face the handle facing up, uh, align it with the hard drive and screw it in with the provided um, the screwdriver. Uh, after you do so, you just slide the hard drive in just like that and give it a little push and it's in uh, you just put the metal frame back and the safety cover back and push it back in to turn on, well, for the initial setup, I, I do recommend using a USB uh, instead of eSATA or FireWire. Uh, and then after you set it up, then you could go back to eSATA. Um, that's what I did, and it worked for me. Uh, so to turn it on, you do press the on button for about three to four seconds. And everything turns on. I already have it set up on RAID 1, but I will show you um, how to basically set up. But I won't complete the process. I'll just show you a quick run. Let it turn on.
well also a note um, you must in you must plug in the USB or eSATA or um, or the firewire to the computer otherwise the system will go to a go to a sleep mode uh, it is a, a feature that's built in, into the system you must have it plugged in otherwise it will go into a sleep mode um, so to select your rate you press and hold mode for about three to four three to five seconds once you do that the raid button will st will start to blink as you can see here and you could change it well it if you don't select it soon we'll go back uh, let me do it one more time here we go and you could change it like so three five ten depending on which raid you want after you do that to confirm your rate selection you go back to the rate confirmation button in the back the black one and press it down and hold it for seven to ten minutes ten seconds and the system will shut down after the system shuts down you turn it back on and your setup is complete 